let's look at how the quantity of DNA changes in mitosis and meiosis. So we said we started we before we had if we have two N cell and you've got two copies of each chromosome. Mm -hmm. So that splits to give you two two N cells in mitosis. Now in interphase, the quantity of DNA will double, but the number of chromosomes will stay the same. Okay. Because you've gone from a chromosome like that to a replicated chromosome like that. Yeah. So this is still one chromosome. Yeah. And this has been replicated to form one chromosome. Yeah. But between in, in interphase, the quantity of DNA doubles. Mm -hmm. Then obviously it's going to go interphase. It's going to go through interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase telophase, mm. so in interphase we have this, in prophase they appear, in metaphase they land up in the middle, in anaphase they get pulled apart, mm. and in telophase you have a new nuclear membrane around each chromosome. Okay. Yep. Now let's look at meiosis. Now in meiosis, if we look at this with sperm meets Meiosis, remember, if we have just one chromosome here, meets one chromosome here, mm -hmm. so this is an N cell meets an N cell, N equals one, so then they're going to fertilize, produce a zygote, it's like this. Mm -hmm. The zygote's going to grow by mitosis, and at some point in the future, the zygote needs to produce its own um, N cells through sexual reproduction, for sexual reproduction, sorry, it needs to produce its own gametes. So this is a 2N cell. Yeah. So the, next, the first phase that occurs in meiosis is interphase, which is exactly the same as in mitosis, is that the chromosomes replicate mm -hmm. through semi-conservative replication. So this one replicates and this one replicates. So during interphase, again, the quantity of DNA doubles, but the number of chromosomes stays, stays the same. You've gone from one chromosome, sorry, from two having two chromosomes, still still having two chromosomes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Then, obviously, prophase you have crossing over and chiasma and all that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Metaphase in so in meiosis you have interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase one. Then you have prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase two. Mm -hmm. So. Prophase, and then you've got metaphase, where they line up in homologous pairs. Those homologous pairs, you've then got crossing over, mm -hmm. etc. The they get pulled apart by the centromeres, pulling the homologous pairs into separate cells. Now, what you have now is that these will then split to give you two separate cells and here the number of chromosomes is half we've gone from two chromosomes and then after that these are going to get pulled apart again in the second phase of of meiosis which is where the these chromosomes get pulled apart and the centromeres split because the spindle fibers again pull them apart. Mm -hmm. So you end up with a chromosome in each one, like that. Okay, yeah. So in the second division, yeah. the number of chromosomes remains the same, but the quantity DNA. of DNA halves. Mm 